up guys good morning this is brian weber with uh, it's another update video on the top security combine i'm doing the hundred fifty thousand dollar account so i posted in uh like the community on the youtube channel last friday i got caught in a sell-off a little bit too much position sizing and uh had to reset the account but i've traded this account i think this is the third maybe the second or third day that i've been trading it again on the reset and I had to move the move, adjust my strategy more or less to take into account the volatility that we we're experiencing to trade on a smaller time frame, and just so I could have you know less position sizing and less risk in general because the candles are a little too big on the five minute chart. So I had to move down to a one minute chart, and it seems to be paying off a little bit better. Kind of adjust my adjusted my screen as well like for my indicators to kind of tell me when to buy just so i'm not buying you know or in a downtrend uh, just to go over really quick this is just an ema setup with a cloud just to give me like the color if the short-term emas are above the long-term ones so we got the 10 the 20 and the 50. so if the 10 is above the 50 you'll get a green cloud and so just keep buying until we obviously the 10 crosses below the 50 and it'll turn red you kind of see that a little bit over here just so you guys know what you're looking at when i'm doing these videos and then uh, i have trend lines trend lines as well 100 sma down here as well just to get like a bigger trend trend support or resistance and another thing that i found helpful lately was having an atr trailing stop to kind of get a good idea of where this trend was actually going to die out so that's been helpful as well well let's dive in to the market a little bit i'm just going to give you a quick quick overview of what my trades were today so i guess the the uh, stimulus package is being voted on today or it could have been passed not really sure but the market's pretty optimistic today the tech sector is up massively I think around 4%, S&P is approaching 2%. And I think either they're voting on it today or Biden's going to be signing it um, sometime this week. So stimulus is going out. So this is just another optimistic uh, situation for the market that's reacting positively. So we're on the longer term frame, term frame, we're kind of like on a, in this giant wedge kind of broke the first smaller one, but there's still a bigger one from the lower highs that we already formed. But it was a pretty simple day of trading today. Um, so this account back at step one is at almost where I was at when I broke a rule. So I made $749 today. And just to show you on this chart, close this guy, Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, everything was pretty bullish out of the gate. Here's the open indicators that i have are showing bullish and if you go to the five minute chart you can see that you zoom in here there are these two candles here like they're tweezer let me move my camera over here there's a tweezer bottom here see the low of this candle is 38.55 and so is this one so that was going to be my line where like if we take out that 55 we're gonna probably trade sideways or go lower. So I was looking to get long <clears throat> in this area inside this cloud area with a stop below the 55. And you can kind of see that's kind of what I did here. I was buying and selling just in case we didn't break out of that, that 65.50 area, 67, uh, which was the high of this candle, yeah, 66. And once we started pushing up, I kind of didn't hold in this whole move. So I ended up getting in, uh, I think I bought the, the retest of somewhere up here yeah right here and then just kept buying it on the way up and just making sure that you know i could add in this area but just make sure that we're continuing to make higher lows and we were so there's no reason to really be uh i guess shaken out of the position if you're going to add because we kept holding the previous structure low on this five minute chart but on the one minute chart this is kind of where i identified my entries you can kind of see I bought the, the 10, EMA, 10 EMA and the 20 EMA almost every time. I bought it here. I think this was the trade and, and right there as well. And then after this one, I right here, I stopped trading. 
Um, you can kind of see the market continued higher though, but today was kind of like a trend day, just following the EMAs and holding, making higher lows throughout the day. So pretty solid day. Hope you guys did well too. We'll see what the market does uh, to, to close out the rest of the week. And I'll just have to remind myself to trade with less position sizing and drill down into the smaller time frames. maybe even use a tick chart just to see the more granular price action. But if you guys have any questions, um, enjoyed this video, let me know and give me a thumbs up on the video and a subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh, thanks again. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. See you.